Hey there, Virgo, how are you? Virgo, thank y'all so much for your love and your support, your positivity, your light, uh, your good vibes. I do appreciate it. And as always, I give it right back to you. So Virgo, y'all know the drill, okay? We're going to go ahead and jump right into your love messages for the last 11 days of December of 2021, okay? The last 11 days of the year, all right? This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as any cross watchers out there who may be dealing with a Virgo, okay? So uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it. Um, keep in mind that the messages are very general, so please don't force it if it doesn't fit. Make sure that you're using your own judgment and intuition and discernment when it comes to listening to these messages, all right? Um, yeah, that's it, Virgo. Let's go ahead and see what's going on for you guys for uh, love, romance, and relationships. December 21st through 31st of 2021. One more shuffle. All right. Okay, connection. karmic ties fireworks all right so i'm already looking at look at all this red and black and like gold like this is already like a really deep very very deep connection that we're looking at here okay um firework energy is so i love when that firework energy comes up right before new year's because uh oh man it's feel it feels fresh it feels like this is a very new year's -y type love maybe it's from someone that like you kind of meet right before the new year okay um with that karmic ties energy though i definitely see that um you know this does have the potential for you guys to be linked together for a minute okay i do feel like this is a new connection though um okay so if you're already in an established relationship, I definitely feel like, you know, this message still could be for you, but it's just about uh, maybe, you know, you're taking this time in the new year or right before the new year to kind of like maybe renew uh, y'all's connection. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what else we got. Okay. So we got separate. All right. Soulmates. Oh, dang. And then lost love. Oh, no, Virgo. And then under the deck, we got seduction. Oh, what? So that's what it was. Was that all it was, Virgo? Man. Get out of here. <laughs> so that's all that was. It was just, oh, and then right under seduction, it was just many loves. What? <laughs> Virgo, let me tell you what I see. Please be careful in this connection, okay? Because these, honestly, the only cards here that represent real, like, stability are the karmic ties and the soulmates card that I see right on, right under each other and in the middle. So I definitely feel, this definitely feels like you could be really, you could end up being bound to this person um, at some point uh, very, very soon, Okay. Um, I definitely, yes, there is a spark of a connection here. Okay. Uh, but I, uh, and, and, and there is a lot of seductive energy, of course. Um, but what it's giving me Virgo is, is making me feel like, you know, I just got to say it because I see it, but it's just making me feel like some of you could end up pregnant in a situation and that person is not going to stick around. We got separate lost love. And then it's like many loves. So it's just Dang it. Dang it, Virgo. And I and, and that's just as, and that's just what I see here. Okay. Um I usually try not to look at things in from a negative perspective. Um, but that's just what I see. It's just the first thing that comes to my mind here in this situation, Virgo. Okay. Um you know, it feels like a it could be this could have been a one night stand, honestly. All right. So and I'm not judging you because that's not what we're here to do. I'm just telling you what I see. This could have been definitely could have been a one night stand. Make sure just if you're going to if you're doing stuff New Year's Eve or if you're doing stuff up and through the, up and through to the New Year, Christmas, 
just be safe, you know, use protection, okay, because you might end up being linked and end up being a soulmate and, you know, to someone that you don't necessarily want to be, okay. Yeah, it's like this connection is like it really lasts very, very brief here. Because we do have the coming together and then we have the losing of this connection under fireworks. It's making me feel like it's like in a flash, it, it, you know, it was there, it, the connection was there and now it's not. And now, you know, someone may be stuck with a little prize from that situation or that endeavor. Okay. And I'm not just talking to the ladies out here. I'm talking to the fellas out here too. Because y'all need to be careful too. Okay. So, you know, it goes both ways. I'm not talking to just one. You know, I'm talking to everybody. Hey, we can make it work for everybody. You know what I mean? But, you know, you, you know what I'm saying. Uh, let's go ahead and pull some tarot, Virgo. Okay, we got the Five of Cups. Oh, we got the Hermit. And then the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, so I guess somebody's kind of, I feel like someone is, someone is regretting a situation with the Five of Cups and the Hermit. Um, I def, Like, the Five of Cups and the Hermit are both looking this way. So, I definitely feel like maybe someone is kind of, like, secretly, I ain't gonna lie, like, kind of secretly regretting a situation, right? Uh, but, you know, from the situation does come some goodness here. I do feel with the Ace of Cups. And like I said, uh, for some of you, that could be, you know, that little bundle of New Year's bliss that will come at some point in September. Okay. And I'm not just trying, I'm not trying to put that on y'all, but dang it, that's what I see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and pull some more here. So we got the Seven of Wands. Okay, we got the star, and then we've got the seven of swords, huh, okay, so you know what, this situation definitely teaches you a lesson for sure, okay, it definitely it makes me feel like, you know, for some of you, it makes you need, it, it makes you uh, realize how much stronger in your convictions you need to be when it comes to, like, you know, your own personal space and your boundaries, okay, um, like I said, you know, maybe New Year's Eve got a little bit. I just see New Year's Eve and y'all just getting loose. And then, oops, you know. Uh, but the star card energy definitely indicates to me. Um, the star card energy, in, in, in a way, it, it just makes me feel as though, like, Virgo, uh, the biggest, one of the biggest lessons that you learn of all, one of the biggest lessons that you learn most of all is that, in spite of this regrettable decision, okay, um, you are looking at the situation from like a place of love, okay, um, and a place of, uh, of, you know, you know that you're going to be protected and you know that things are going to be okay. Um, let's look under the deck here again, yeah, the Ace of Wands, and they're still going to, and it's not, see, the Ace of Wands energy to me and then right, oh wow, and then right under there, since we pulled two for the other one, um, is the Nine of Pentacles. So with the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles coming right out next to each other under the deck here, I get the feeling that, um, yeah, you know, you may be, some of you may be pulling, you know, some of you may be doing the independent route, okay, but you're not going to have any shortage of blessings. You're not going to have any shortage of opportunities, no matter, you know, what sort of regrettable decisions, okay? Because, oh, uh, I feel like some of you may not necessarily, um, oh, Jesus, oh, goodness. Y'all, please don't come for me. Some of y'all may not necessarily decide that you want to keep this bundle of New Year's fun. Um, and again, no judgment, okay? It's just, 
it's it's just really uncomfortable to say those types of things on the internet because you know you don't know how that stuff is going to be received so again i'm not you know trying to put none of the situations on you i know this seems very very specific if it's not your message then it just ain't your message all right but but i just gotta say what i see you guys i'm sorry I'm sorry that this may have to be a, a, a decision that you have to make, okay? Or that you may have to be a part of making, all right? Um, but just understand, I do understand the lesson, the lesson that you learned from it, okay? Um, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm in no way qualified to even talk about that sort of issue. But, um, but Virgo, uh, I, I feel for you if you are in that predicament, okay? Um, goodness Christ, let me get some, uh, where's an Oracle card? Where's an Oracle deck when I need one? Hold on y'all. Let me get y'all an Oracle deck because I got to pull y'all some advice. One second. Okay, Virgo. All right, Virgo, I'm back. Let me tell you something. This is an especially heavy message and I couldn't decide which deck I wanted to give y'all some advice from and so then I was like well maybe I'll let them choose but then I was like but Antoine you're you're pre-recording this so then I said well I'll do both okay so first we'll start with the romance angels we'll just get some advice here from the romance angels and see how we can handle some of this heavy ass energy y'all Virgo, this is an extra special thing that I'm doing for, for you guys, okay? I haven't done this for any other sign <laughs> at all. Advice for Virgo. Oh, okay. Well, so we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. So, yeah, we definitely know that you are um, make, definitely enjoying your moments. You're making the most of your moments during this time here, Virgo. I definitely feel like you are no shortage of attraction. Okay. Um, I do feel like, though... Um, you know, I feel like maybe, you know, something that I said here that you had to go through, I definitely feel as though you are uh, having conversations, okay? Having conversations with your family about this can help, okay? Don't go through this alone, okay? Look to the people who are, um, who are in your corner the most, okay? They could be a very, very big, big support system for you. All right, let's go ahead and pull Whispers of Love here and see what other advice that we can get for you, Virgo. Okay. Should I take all of those? I think so. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so we have... The union of hearts, there's a connection of love that defies explanation, okay? Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovely from others is a way of showing love, okay? We have get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. And we have true love. This is a once-in-a-lifetime love. So, wow. So, this is actually a pretty interesting message as well, okay? Um, you guys, definitely, I feel like, just reach out to your families, okay? Reach out to your families. A attract the people that love you the most into your circle, okay? And uh, pour your hearts out. Pour your concerns out to them. Tell them, you know, what you are up against, okay? And what you're dealing with and tell them. Okay, that way you don't have to necessarily feel like you have to make this decision alone. Okay, I definitely feel like there's a village of people who love you. Okay, who will definitely help you if they know how deep the situation goes. So I definitely would say to you, do not do not feel like you have to step into this very hard decision alone. Okay, um, God, <sighs> I'm so sorry, Virgo. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. This is really heavy, um, but with that... 
you guys, make sure just hit the notification bell, y'all. And I hope that you have a great rest of your year.